Today we're working on a Tesla Model 3. All right, so back like about a year ago, this Tesla came in for some paint protection film. We did the bumper and we did the hood and we did the whole ceramic coating treatment to the rest of the vehicle. Uh, it came back because there are some issues with the paint protection film as far as staining. Uh, it seems like the water spots, he left it on there for too long and it kind of etched the film. So that is covered under a 10 year manufacturer warranty that most of all the top brands of paint protection film do carry. So we're honoring the manufacturer warranty. We're taking off the film. We're gonna give him a brand new piece. The first time around, we only did the hood and bumper. And then this time around, he wants to go ahead and protect the fenders as well. So we're gonna wrap the fenders and we're gonna redo the hood. So now guys, in this process, this process, you need to be, be careful. You pull the, the PPF when you try to take it off of the, of the hood with the steam and, and be careful about how you use the, the steam because you can burn if you use in in bad way. Now we are trying to, to be very, very, how say it, delicate, so. Very careful about, you know, try to peel off, peel off the, the PPF from the hood. And it's a, a slow process. So right now you can see how you stretch the PPF very slowly, very slow. So finally, we're done with the PPF to try to take it off. So. Then we're gonna, we're gonna put a new PPF in this hood. So stay tuned. All right, so we finally have everything off the hood. So the whole paint protection film has been removed, safely removed. As Sebastian was telling you guys, we use steam. So like that, it, it weakens up the adhesive so that when we, when we actually do the pull, there's less tension between the film and the paint. And quite honestly, as long as it's OEM paint, we never had any issues with paint coming off as we take it off. Uh, doing it with that process of steaming and pulling against it. And that's pretty much the way that we remove all paint protection films here. We get that question a lot. So, you know, when there is time to replace it, what's gonna happen to my paint? Honestly, if done the way that we just did it, it's never gonna be an issue as long as it's OEM paint. The only issue that we had is with uh, paint that has been resprayed. There's a lot of issues that could come from that because if there's not proper paint prep, there's not proper uh, technique where they sprayed it, I mean, there's always that chance that when you pull, we might actually pull some of that paint off if the whole panel wasn't prepped right. But for the most part, original paint, as you saw, nothing really happens. Now all we're doing is uh, we're getting some adhesive remover. And since we, I did wrap all the edges before, like what I'm gonna do now, there are some, a little bit of adhesive left here. So we're just removing that. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off, clay it, and put a brand new piece all over again. <music> everything. Now we're just adding more slip solution so we can do the transfer of the, of the hood onto the actual paint. So now we're doing the fender. We're letting some of the edges dry on the hood, but we've moved right along to the fender. Modified a couple of edges. So the top portion, bottom portion, 
and the area where it meets the door, that's gonna get wrapped. Um, so yeah, same thickness. He didn't have it before, so he just had the hood and bumper, and now we did the headlights and we did the fenders. So now the whole front end is protected. think definitely very very unique Tesla Model 3 one of the coolest Tesla Model 3s that we had in our shop in a while uh, I'm glad that I was able to work on it we did the fenders we did the warranty on the hood as you guys saw and now it's protected we did a maintenance on the overall paint finish it does have a ceramic coating applied on all the painted surfaces so we did our ceramic coating maintenance package on this beautiful Tesla Model 3 uh, as you can see, it has cool splitters, Belgian wheels. Uh, actually, this, this is a, what's it called? It's a Vorsteiner uh, lip kit on the front, on the sides. has a nice little Vorsteiner wing as well. Uh, looks pretty cool. I like this Tesla Model 3. Uh, I think it's dropped a little bit as well. So it looks pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Chrome Delete as well. He has these uh, custom... They almost look like BMW's uh, rear view mirrors as well. So I'm gonna zoom in, bring you guys closer to all the cool features that this Tesla Model 3 has. guys thanks again for tuning in to the channel we hope you liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so like that you are alerted every time we have new content we're bringing in more and more new cars in here uh, it could range from Tesla's to old school 1961's Cadillacs so stay alert of what's happening in high-end detail shop here in Miami give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel we really appreciate your support thank you